gonna be 90 dead dinosaurs. I'm such a rebel gassing up the bike with it still running. Battery was really dead. I haven't been on it in a while. So what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. This is gonna be moto vlog number 20. It's insane to think that I think in the middle of August, August 20th, somewhere in there was is gonna be my one year anniversary making moto vlogs and posting to YouTube. So yeah, this is number 20. Welcome back to the channel. If you're a new subscriber, hit the subscribe button, smash the bell notification. It will email you when I upload a video. So had a funny kind of topic to bring up on this moto vlog. Uh, I was sitting around with a friend of mine the other day, and he brought something up that kind of that kind of uh, was funny and and, and rang a bell. Um, most people know. Hang on, let me get through the stop sign. So most people know that. Uh, there's kind of uh, back and forth, I guess, I don't know, a little, little argument, piss and match, whatever you want to call it, between Burley guys and sport bike guys. And it's understandable, you know, brand loyalty, all that nonsense, yada, yada, yada. Burleys are slow, uh, cruisers are fast, or cruisers, sport bikes are fast, uh, sport bikes are uncomfortable, cruisers are uncomfortable, you know, it goes back and forth all the time right but he brought up the fact that uh even in the harley davidson community we still bicker between the groups um everybody looks down on sportsters it seems like no idea why it's a great entry level harley to see if uh, you dig the thing and you know for new brand new iron But yeah, brand new guy iron is uh, right at eight, so you know, extremely reasonable. It's actually cheaper than some sport bikes uh, nowadays. A thousand cc ones are ridiculous, it seems like, but you know, they have a lot of bells and whistles they didn't have in the back of the day. But uh, one little thing with that, too, is what I've noticed here right lately on the Dyna forums and the Facebook pages is there's a back and forth between wide glide guys and purpose built club style guys, which I think is hilarious. You know, everybody back and forth, all the memes is great, but yeah, it's kind of crazy. There, there is a little bit of that, uh, I don't want to call it discrimination, but I don't know. There, there, there's a little bit of that talk with uh, the sport bike guys, you know, Ducati guys think they're a lot better than uh, they are because their bike is made in Italy and it's red and it costs more and you, you know all that stuff and I don't I don't know what it is about Jixers but I just remember that back in the day that those guys used to get picked on all the time too so um, I don't know um, yeah I'm kind of a I like any motorcycle really um, if I would have to get a crotch rocket and had like 20 grand, I would get me a uh, H2R for sure. I, those things are wicked. I don't, I don't know how you can not like those things. So this is a little spot that I shoot uh, some pictures. You've probably seen it. Let's get back past these dudes. It's kind of private back here. So. Yeah, kind of a random subject. What up? What I kind of wanted to say to that uh, discrimination thing, you know, looking down on somebody because he didn't spend three hundred million dollars on a motorcycle, is that a wise man once told me when I first got into motorcycling that get the bike that you look at 
and what it says to you is I want to ride that thing every day every minute of every day and every second of every day as long as you're happy with your motorcycle <laughs> Like me and the dyno are <laughs> it was a little bumpy back here then that's what matters who cares what everybody else thinks of your motorcycle this and that da, 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 da. i do get a bunch of looks and everything with this west coast style bike over here on the east coast it hasn't really cut up big yet but you know i don't care i built this bike for me i want to have fun on it i want to learn to wheelie on it so who cares what anybody else thinks is kind of the moral of the story there. They're lost. As soon as I try to pass them on this double level, they'll turn left. Screw it. Hey guys, the moral of this motor vlog is buy the motorcycle that you want to ride don't worry about what anybody else thinks i loved my sportster i rode the crap out of it and when i wanted something else i got something else and that's how it goes don't don't let peer pressure get you into buying something and then you're regretting it and then you don't ride it at the end of the day it's about riding so buy the bike that makes sure you want to ride so I think that's going to be it for Motovlog 20. Um, gosh, it seems like this year, man, has been, I don't know if it's because of the Motovlog or what, but it seems extremely busy. I've been busy every aspect of my life. And we got uh, Springs, Patriot Springs order for the Donna. We got to work on the Road Glide. It's supposed to be 137 degrees this weekend so so i don't know about that it's kind of hot in that little garage but but yeah guys as always appreciate the support like comment subscribe and we'll see you on the next one